hello everyone in our to this video i'm gonna show you how you can actually uh, create a virtual machines like i have all over here like how you can install a virtual machine inside your windows computer like what we're gonna do we're gonna install that vmware workstation player in our machine after downloading and then how you can install kali linux for the we to go with that ethical hacking and other security vulnerabilities which we're gonna check later on in this channel and also how you can set up that meta exploitable tool and also if you want to test some other distro like pop os or the ubuntu distro linux texture inside your computer but if you're running windows you don't want to lose it but or any other distro you if you just feel free to using that uh, virtual machines which is the vmware workstation player we're gonna use so today i'm gonna show you how you can set up all of this all together to install VMware Workstation Player in your computer, you need to download it first. And it's better to download it from their official website that VMware.com. And from here, you can select the products. And from that products, you can select that Workstation Player option. And now there is a button which is for download for free. So let's click over here. And after clicked, it will re redirect to you another page, which will be the download page. And over here, there is as you can see there is a lot of different versions you can toggle through 16 15 or 14 but i'll go with the latest one and which is available right now is 17.0.2 so if i click on that go to downloads let's click and now it's giving me two different options one is for a linux 64 bit and another is for windows 64 bit operating system so i'm running windows i will go with that download now for the windows and i already downloaded that one so i'm not gonna initialize any downloading but for you if you are using that vmware for the first time maybe it's gonna pop up with a form where you need to fill up your first name last name address email or some just normal information no payment required trust me there is no payment just to some information to just tune on it because it's gonna give you a month of free subscription to run that in your local machine so feel free to do that and after doing it you can download it and so i already have that so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna install that one in my machine and let's yes and always try to do the default one so that you will not miss whatever is recommending for you and the installation process may be vary it's uh, depend on the network you are having so don't be uh, feel uh, freaking out if it's taking a much of time or something and now that's the crazy part add vmware workstation console tools into your system path by default it will be ticked and it keep it remain tick even if it's not marked keep it marked because what it's gonna give you if you just go to settings and from settings if we just search for the environment variable and from that variable you see there is the path is set up over here so by default if that field is checked it will set that system path by default on that way so we're gonna we want that same thing you can change the directory whatever directory you want to keep you can do it from here and i don't want that enhanced keyboard driver so it just to keep in that way and also Mm, join customer experience no i don't want okay so let's see okay so now it's gonna install all the dependencies requiring to run that application and it will install it to my computer and by the way with uh, today's vmware we're gonna use that uh, kali linux as you know so to install the kali linux you need to go to their official website for that kali.org and from here there is a two option which is installer images or virtual machines so i will go with that virtual machines because we will use with that vmware which is virtual machine so you need to click on it and from here you need to choose the place whichever you want either 64 bit for your 64 bit machine 32 bit for your 32 bit so it will be choose by default so i want that vmware if i click it will start download okay just simple now if i click see it started downloading uh, but i already have that so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stop it i'm gonna cancel the download because as per the concern i already 
downloaded that Kali Linux and after I'm getting a GIF file and I also unzip that file. So that is my Kali Linux over here, which I got after download and unzip. So it's around 2.5 uh, gigabytes. So feel free to install that, download that one before installing. Now, as you see, it's everything is done. I will not go with the license issue because we want that to be free. Okay, let's minimize that one. And as you see, our VMware workstation is already installed. Let's launch that one to just to see the setup. That is the home page for the VMware workstation 17 player. Now you can create a new virtual machine or you can open a virtual uh, machine. So there is two concepts. First one, I already also having a pop OS workstation, pop OS actual image, the hard one. So that one if i install if i want to install in my uh, workstation i need to go with that create a new virtual machine section but now i have two folder which is kali linux which is uh, actually for vmware so it's having all the dependencies so what i need to do i can open a virtual machine from here and also if, if you see i have the matter exploitable tool which also having all the dependencies so i only need to uh, like open it no need to uh, create a new device uh, so i will open a virtual machine and i'm gonna go in my download folder over here and now this is the kali linux i have and as you see that's the image i need to open okay now as you see it's giving it's giving by default 2 gb ram everything so i can edit that virtual machine before running actually to see you see memory 2 gb processor 4 and so hard disk is 80 gigabytes so everything you can actually change it from here if you want also the network is not so it's a connected uh, on power you can also go through the bridge mode okay i'm not gonna saving it because i didn't change anything so now what i need to do i need to play the virtual machine so right now it's gonna start our Kali Linux inside our window through that virtual machine what I'm doing I am running one of the Linux distro inside my machine and uh, there is the crazy thing I'm gonna go I'm gonna get almost all the facilities whatever the Kali Linux can provide so that's the crazy fun over here you're gonna have a look at, have a like Linux machine inside your own machine the same Linux but it's working inside in Windows so now the default one it will be a uh, oops okay let's select it now default name it will be kali and password also will be kali you can change the password from the system whenever is required so now as you see we are inside that kali linux and it's totally working like if we go to our command prompt inside the kali linux and we want to ask something that like who am i and see it's saying it's kali and if you say alice now let's go to inside that desktop we are inside the desktop and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just uh, make a file make as you see my folder is there sorry just first folder and if i go and now i'm gonna just uh, oops i'm gonna make it a sample.txt and as you see if we open it actually that file is over here L like you have everything over here right now now also for the network issue if i put that if config you can see a separate network either than my uh my own network because it's in the nat mode so it will create a perfect different method of network with that which is giving a separate ip address and also i can browse it from here but it will not access through my own ip it gonna access its own ip but it's in a bridge uh, nat mode so let's go let's type google you see google is there or if you type youtube okay that's the youtube let's try to find out my channel as you see that my channel is over here don't forget to hit the subscribe and like the video because it can help you a bit so that's it all so with that way you can really create a separate machine inside your own computer okay so now to shut down you can suspend the guest you can shut down the guest the way you want so let's also from here you can close on power of everything so depends on your cho uh, choosing so uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just shut down the guest shut down the kali linux okay 
and by the way my windows is working still fine there is nothing changes at all as you use the Kali Linux let's try another distro which I have with that matter exploitable too so again I will open a virtual machine and from the downloads I'm gonna go with that matter exploitable too and now I'm gonna open it so again you see it's giving a RAM of 512 megabyte because it's not that much uh, not needed that much RAM like Kali Linux so let's open that virtual machine so um, i copied it it's better to do in that way or you can put i moved it but uh, for matter exploitable 2 you also need to go their official website on that matter exploitable 2 and you need to download from it from here and after downloading you need to extract it and you will get that file which you can open it later on the way it uh, can work for you so now it's time for logging and for the logging as you see it's written in the top logging with msf admin and msf admin host. so what the name it will be msf admin and the password it will be msf admin so now if i type who am i you're gonna say it's msf admin so let's see alice and you see it's uh, giving vulnerable so we are inside now in that uh, in our meta exploitable tool and of course the cursor and other thing it will not work so what why i am saying you to also install because later on in this channel we're gonna understand we're gonna learn how we can check the security vulnerabilities and other things so we're gonna learn every single bit about it that's why i'm showing you how it can uh, be helpful for you if you understand so i think it can also really give you something and of course you can have other dextro also to be installed in the vmware workstation and instead of going to actually like what we did what we have been done for the kali Linux, we are going that virtual machine one you can also download the actual machine like the pop os like if you download with that the dixt one for that uh, pop os 22.04 or you can also go through with that ubuntu it will work it will definitely work so you're gonna have a test of how the things can be done or what is happening with that setup like to do that i already download one uh, pop os over here in my download folder as you see it's a dix not the folder the base with the kali linux or matter exploitable tool and to do that what we need to do let's go to our virtual machine and over here now we cannot open it because it's not yet created so what you need to do we need to create a new virtual machine so we need to go with that iso dix because if you come over here as you see it's dot iso so it's a installer dix so now from here we can browse which dix we need to use we need to select the dix and that is we have been i have been downloaded before which is the pop os so let's open that dix now we can click on the next now you feel free to go and choose which debian distro is uh, the pop os okay i'm just gonna show you the diff the normal one now i will choose the folder where i will keep that machine so let's go let's go to inside my s drive uh like sd drive linux others i'm gonna keep it here and click next and also you can give the stick size better to go with the default now you can also customize the hardware size which is we have been done before but previously it was set up by default so now we need to set up it manually so let's finish and after finishing it's gonna create that virtual machine in our setup but it will not be ready to use like if we play the virtual machine like kali Linux or others it will not be there we need to install every single things from the beginning one by one we need to create the partitioning because it will be same a linux text row normally how we are installing inside the machine so it will be the same configuration but you will get the same setup as linux Textro. okay so feel free if you want to test it you can try it i don't want to test i already try and it's definitely work for me so it will work for you also but for me what i want actually i want you to to install that kali linux and matter exploitable too because in this channel in our next video we're going to learn how we can uh, how we can do the ethical hacking portion how we can uh, create uh, like uh, uh, create the vulnerabilities to about our networking setup and all others related to cyber security so feel free to go and install that too so we can uh, you can just carry on with me with the next video